I guess I do. So, big favor. Can you take me to the top of Vinewood Hills, by the sign? I was starting to think no one was going to stop. Short dress, boots, vulnerable but playful demeanor. What more does a girl have to do these days? You cast out this kind of bait, you'd expect at least a couple of old sharks to come sniffing. Just promise me you're not going to wear my skin or imprison me in a crawl space for 20 years. He's a security guard at the broadcast tower right behind the famous Vinewood sign. He's been stressed out, really working long hours, so I thought I'd surprise the big luck. Wait, that's my phone. Speak of the devil. Hey, sweetie, I was just talking about you. To this guy who was nice enough to give me a ride? No, not like that. I'm pitching back into town. Yeah, I know what happened last time, but I'm pretty sure this guy is okay. No, I haven't spoken to him in weeks. This is just some random guy, I swear. Calm down, babe. Look, would you tell him? Man, are you talking to me? Yes, tell him you're not a guy called Brian. You're just some random guy. Wait a minute, what? Just shout it. I'm just some random guy not called Brian, man. There, babe, you believe me now? Babe! Babe! Shit, he hung up on me. Yes, there he is. Hey, babe! Surprise! And who's this guy? What, no kiss? Hey, punk, what the hell do you think you're doing with my woman? Are you Brian? Calm down, I don't even know the guy. You're not even good looking! I... What have you done to him, you psychopath? Perhaps now you want to kill me. Yeah, maybe, old man. Maybe not. You and your civil border patrol friends. You're all the same. Ignorant fools trying to protect something that's not even there. They're not my friends. I spend enough time with them. Yeah, I spend a lot of time with fucking people I don't like, all right? It's one of my favorite hobbies. Stay out of this, you dumb Canadian. Oh, you just made this real easy for me. Tell me you're back in Los Angeles, Mr. Phillips. What excellent news. Oh, don't mind me, Marty. I'm just here to kill some of your people. Hello, Trevor. What kept you? Business, Michael, business. Uh, All right? I'm the CEO of a big international corporation. It's very time consuming. Nothing, of course, you'd understand, being a gentleman of leisure. We told you to bring along six. This is a six man job. No, you didn't. You, Dave did? No, Dave didn't. You said you'd do it. That is a frickin' lie. I do not get things wrong. Hey, I do my dirty work every day, keeping the country safe from scum like you. And you're doing a great job, sir. Come on, Mr. Leisure Wear, Mr. Depressed Accountant. Let's go save America. Who the fuck are we saving it from this time? You two are on getaway. Fuck off and make it happen. You've got a limited supply of gas in the cutter, so get this right.
This will make me the most dangerous man in the country. I'm also the most shit scared. Oh, man. Thank you, federal government. This is for the greater good. Allegedly. What the f***? in my pocket. It's too risky, Bandito! Can I trust you to dispose of the chopper? I got more important things to worry about messing around with this stupid chopper. Like things that actually mean something. Not made up wars, but made up enemies. Matters of the heart! Is he fucking with me? Probably not! So the chemical weapon in there, right? If it even is a chemical weapon, hell, it could be shaving cream for all I know.